Okay, this is going to be a demonstration on how to use the scroll saw. We're going to start with cardboard because it's a lot softer material. It's a lot easier to cut than wood. So that's why we start with cardboard. And I'm here discussing uh, if we have our shape drawn out on the cardboard, we want to make sure we have a lot of relief cuts so that when we go to cut the shape out, it's a lot less stressful on the blade and a lot easier for us to cut it out. So before I let you start, you have to show me your your piece of cardboard with your relief cuts drawn out on them or I will not let you start. So the first thing you need to do is to draw in where you're going to be making your relief cuts. And I'm going to make a series of relief cuts not through the line but to the line. Everywhere there's a significant change. And the more relief cuts you make, the easier it will be to cut. Because what's going to happen is, after I have these relief cuts made, is little individual pieces will begin to fall off if I, as I start to cut the shape out. Okay, so at this point, I'm ready to start cutting all my relief cuts. So I'm going to start by cutting the relief cuts, and then I'm going to go back and cut the shape out. Now, a few things I want to cover about the machine before we get started. Look down here. This is the power switch. Down is off, up is on. The blade travels in an up and down motion. Therefore, you're going to want to make sure that you keep the material you're cutting, whether it's cardboard or wood. You want to make sure that you keep it down on the surface at all times. Otherwise, the blade's going to want to grab it and pull it up on you and bring it down rapidly. Okay, so one thing you want to do is make sure that you keep the material down on the table. Your hands should not enter inside this orange guard area. That's called the danger zone. Really, for no reason whatsoever should your hands be inside there. Okay, your hands could be in front of there. They could be on the sides of there. They can even be behind there, pulling back. But they should never go through there. Okay, they should never go underneath here. This is not going to save you from cutting yourself. This is a piece of plastic. It's simply a reminder to you to keep your fingers away from that area. Is that understood? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the machine on and I'm going to make my relief cuts. Okay, for no reason whatsoever should you ever try to reach in here for a scrap piece while you're cutting on the saw. Wait till the machine shut off and then you can clear out your work area. If it's something that's bothering you, you think it's going to get caught between the table and the blade, shut it off, then clear it out, then continue. Okay? Now I'm ready to start cutting out my shape because all my relief cuts are made. From the other side it just looks like a, a series of lines, kind of like a, a messy series of lines. Why didn't you cut it? because that would add too much stress on the blade, which is no, why I, I, I explained relief cuts. Who says it? The
creative colors. Okay, so to answer your question, Brown and red. you make relief cuts so you don't stress the blade. On cardboard, it wouldn't matter. But when you get to the wood, if you try to do that, you're going to break the blade. Okay, you're probably going to fall back on the floor because you're going to get so scared. Did you say okay. we'd have to change our pants? You might. 